Hello, I'm Slim Goodbody, here with a special health report. I'm sure you've been hearing a lot about the coronavirus in the news, and it can all sound pretty scary, because it's spreading very quickly and making a lot of people sick. Even though it's a serious situation, there is no reason for you to panic. Every day, doctors and scientists are studying this disease and learning more about it and about ways to help keep you healthy. Now, here's what we know so far. In December of 2019, people in Wuhan, China, started getting sick with fevers and coughs. And some started having a very hard time breathing. Nobody was sure of exactly what was causing the trouble. But the sickness was spreading quickly to more and more people. Scientists started doing tests and discovered that the disease was being caused by a virus. A virus is a teeny, tiny organism. It is so small that a half a billion of them could fit on the head of a pin. Viruses can only be seen using a special microscope. And when the scientists zoomed in, they saw that this virus had a lot of crown-like spikes sticking out all over. Now, in medicine, we use a lot of Latin words, and the Latin word for crown is corona. That's why they named it the Corona Virus, a virus with a crown. Now, scientists already knew about some coronaviruses. For example, there is a coronavirus that causes the common cold. But this coronavirus was different. And the disease it caused, they named COVID-19. The first two letters, C-O, stands for Corona. The letters B-I stand for virus. The letter D stands for disease, and the number 19 stands for 2019, the year it was discovered. Nobody knows for sure where it came from, but many scientists believe that it probably started in an animal before spreading to a human being. COVID-19 began in Wuhan, China, but now it's reached countries all over the globe. Now, the vast majority of people who get COVID-19 just get a mild case and they recover quickly with rest and fluids. But some do get very sick and some even die. But those folks are usually older and they have other illnesses. Fortunately, very few children seem to be getting COVID-19 and if they do, it's a very mild case. The disease spreads when someone who is sick coughs or sneezes. Millions of tiny viruses fly out into the air in tiny droplets. If someone happens to be close by and breathes those viruses in, they'll probably get sick. Otherwise, the droplets will land on whatever surface is nearby, like a desk, a chair, a table, or a door handle, where they can hang around several hours or even a few days. This is a real problem. Because if you touch those surfaces, then the viruses can get on your hands. But fortunately, they can't get through your skin to get inside to make you sick. Unless, unless you do something to allow those viruses to get inside your body. And you do that by touching your eyes, your nose, or your mouth with your hands hands. That's why every scientist in the world, and I mean every scientist in the world, agrees on one thing, the importance of washing your hands well and often. If you wash your hands well, you will get rid of the coronavirus, but you have to do it correctly. Here's how. Turn on the water, wet your hands, and using a bar of soap or liquid soap, work up a lather by rubbing your hands together. Scrub the front of your hands, the back of your hands, between your fingers, your thumbs, your wrists, your fingertips, and your fingernails. Doesn't matter which order you do this as long as everything is scrubbed well. And when you're done, rinse the soap off under clean running water. Then, 
Dry your hands completely using a clean cloth or paper towel, or you can air dry. Then shut off the cold or warm tap. Now, if you were to look at your hand under a magnifying glass, you would see lots of lines and little wrinkles. And in those wrinkles, little viruses can hide. That's why it's so important to wash your hands completely, to do a thorough job. And you can't do that if you rush. So be sure you take at least 20 seconds, maybe even a little longer, to make sure every part of your hand is clean. Now, soap and water, the best ways to clean your hand. But if they're not around, a hand sanitizer will do. But it must have at least 65% alcohol content. Now, if you use a hand sanitizer, put a drop into your hand about the size of a dime or a quarter because you need enough to make sure you can spread it around all over your hands, just like you did the soap, cleaning your fingers, between your fingers, your fingertips, your fingernails, your wrist, all over. But let me repeat, the very best way to clean your hands is with soap and water. You might be wondering how often to do it. The answer is several times a day. Don't overdo it, but you should be washing your hands in the following situations. Before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, when you get home from school, after you've been playing, after someone sneezes or coughs, and if you've been around someone who is sick. Here's something else to keep in mind. Washing your hands not only helps keep you healthy, but it cuts down on the chances of you spreading any viruses you may have to someone else. Another way to do that is to use a tissue when you cough or sneeze. That will capture the viruses and not allow them to spread. And if you don't have a tissue nearby, then raise your arm up to your face and cough or sneeze into the inside of your elbow. That will also help to protect others. Now listen, while we don't have the medicine yet or the cure yet for COVID-19, scientists are working on it every day. And I am confident that they will come up with different solutions that will help all of us. Meanwhile, though, remember that you have an incredibly strong and wonderful body. You have a system inside of you that protects you. It is called the immune system. And if you eat good foods, and if you get plenty of exercise, and you get plenty of rest, and you wash your hands, I'm sure that you can do a lot to keep your body healthy. Thanks.